captions. Now, I left off in, I think I left off in, in 5.2 because we were talking about logarithms. I'm pretty sure we stopped off right in here. And I wanted to get to, and as far as graphing a logarithm, as long as you can do it in a calculator, you should be okay. I wanted to get to the actual um, definition of a logarithm, which is right here. So let me go ahead and I've already given you the definition of a logarithm, but well, that's not it. I thought that was it. That's the definition of a natural log. Somewhere in here is the, okay, I think we got to here. And, okay. So they're not gonna, they're not gonna give us a definition of a logarithm until later probably in the next section. So let's go ahead and look at these. Um, Why did they? I'm trying to see what the difference between these. This is. Anyway, I'm going to do these two right here. And this is the product rule and the quotient rule. I don't know how they've got it written on here, but the way they've got this example set up is confusing. So I'm just going to write it log base three of X plus four log base three of Y. And the other one is one half log of A minus three log of B. These are what we call rewrites. See the first word in the directions? Rewrite. And when you have a rewrite, they want you to either write it as a single logarithm or expand it using logarithms. And these are two test questions right here. You'll probably have four or five more of each on the test because I can tell you right now, the definition of a logarithm, rewrites, and equations are going to be 80% of your test. Okay? 80% of your logarithm test. I'm going over logarithms right now in Math 130. And you've got to remember this stuff right here. And these are rewrites. So this is a plus, so that means we can rewrite this using the product rule. But first, that power rule, that's the power rule. We're going to have to bring that up. So that's going to be log base 3 of x plus log base three of y to the fourth. And that's using the power rule. And now we use the product rule, log base three of x times y to the fourth. And that's a rewrite. This power rule comes up. This power rule comes up. So we've got log of A to the one half power minus the log of B to the third power. And that's going to be log of A to the one half power divided by B to the third power. And that's two rewrites. 
So if there's any kind of rewrites in your homework, you better make sure you hit uh, do a do another question, do similar question. Make sure you do plenty of rewrites in your homework. And we're going to do some more because two is not going to get it. <clears throat> but when you're talking about these identities, I meant these these properties right here. These are very important. Next to the definition of a logarithm, these are the second most important uh, properties. The first one is definition of a logarithm. Okay, and I've given you these on your handy dandy file. I think I did somewhere. Or I sent it to you to put on a word processor. I'm trying to find it right now. What was it called? Might have been just a picture I sent you. I think it was a picture. I'm looking, I don't see it. So I don't see it. So I must have sent you just a picture of it. Of course, I would ask y'all to clarify, but y'all won't talk to me. So I'll just forget it. Next. OK, here's another one. I don't like the way these things are set up. These slides, they're not supposed to show you how to do the problem when they give you the problem. Anyway, here's another test question. Natural log of 5x minus 3 natural log of z. <clears throat> so that right there is going to go power rule. So that's going to be natural log of 5x minus natural log of z to the third. And that's going to be natural log of 5x over z to the third. How many of you have ever had a Rubik's Cube? Anybody ever had a Rubik's Cube? Okay. The first yeah. time you did a Rubik's Cube, how long did it take you to get it to work? Never did Out. it. Never did. A lot of people don't. Well, those that did get it, after you did it about five or six thousand times, how fast was it? How how fast were you in to get it to work? Pretty quick. Pretty quick. Well, that's what these are. These are just like the Rubik's Cube. They're puzzles. There's the puzzle, and this is the finished product. Or this is the puzzle, and they want this as the finished project. The only way, the only way to get good at logarithms is the same thing as factoring. Takes a lot of a lot of hard work work. Okay. You don't get it by osmosis. Okay. You may get $15 an hour, you know, for charity, but you 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 got to work to get the logarithms down. OK. Now let's go to 4.3 and see if they'll ever give us the definition of logarithm. Definition of a logarithm ought to be first. But I'm not going to. Let's see, is this 5.3 right here? Yep. Well, they may not even give it. I don't know. I saw where Chick-fil-A, not Chick-fil-A, one restaurant was offering $21 per hour. Wow, that's all I got to say is wow. Boy, we ain't in the biggest mess. Mm, I ain't gonna say, shut up, Hubert. Where is the definition of a logarithm? 
Well, this should be it right here. Why haven't they shown you definition of logarithm yet? Hold on a second. Let me find. That's the change based formula. That's, that should be last. OK, I think I've missed it. I think I've missed the definition of logarithm. Oh well. I guess the I guess the, I guess they've shown it to us, but I just haven't seen it. I'm gonna write it down anyway, just for y'all to make sure you have it. The definition of logarithm is y is equal to log base a of x, and that will yield either way a to the y is equal to x. Now, like I said before, that should be the number one property that you learn with logarithms. Again, this is going to make up the rest. This and rewrites are going to make up. Now, a lot of you say, well, Hubert, I thought you said something else. Yeah, but the, the definition of a logarithm does two things, the equations as well as the rewrites and the rewrites are done by the three properties so this actually does more than one okay so make sure you you've got down the definition of a logarithm now back to the slides which i don't think they i think they go around in circles but we'll go ahead and see what they're going to teach us on here Solve an exponential equation. Well, that's going to use the definition of a logarithm. Solve an exponential equation by using properties of logarithms. Solve logarithm equations. OK, everything's good here, except change of base should be last. But we'll go ahead and. All right, here's an example right here. It says solve the equation. Now, equations are going to make up a good portion of your test. This one says 3,000 is equal to 150, 10 to the 4T. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by that 15 because I want to get this exponent, exponent right there. I want to get this exponent by itself so it can equal whatever. So I'm going to divide by 15. And that's going to give me 10 to the 4t is equal to and 3000 divided by 15. 3000 divided by 15. It's going to be like 200. And now you've got the definition of logarithm. Which I don't know which slide they had this on, but. So A to the Y is equal to X. So that yields. Y is equal to log base A of X. So what's Y? 4T. Is equal to log base 10 of 200. So 4t is equal to log of 200 divided by 4. So t is equal to log of 200 divided by four. And I'm just going to highlight this right quick because this is the definition of a logarithm. Which I've yet to see a slide on yet, so I don't know. 
I don't know how you're supposed to know that when we haven't seen a slide on it, or we have and I forgot it, but y'all got to remember 110 and 109, they're side by side, so I can't remember everything that I do in each class. Okay, so let's see what they did. I see right there. That's what they did. Is it 20 or 200? I thought we got 200. They had Is it 20? 50, 50, oh, I divided by 15. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be 150. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all catching that. Thank you for the communication. Thank you very much. Suck. All right. So that'd be 20. They went ahead and did it, so go ahead and write that down. Questions. They might have a question. All right. This this logarithm test is going to hit some of y'all like a like a bag of bricks. So you better ask questions. All right. Prove that time it takes an investment double in value. Remember, I told you to make sure you wrote down the double in value. OK, prove that the time it takes an investment. This is not a test question, but it may be a homework question. OK, so there's your continuously compounded. There's your double formula. So that T, you're going to plug that in. OK, they can put that two. You're going to get two P is equal to PE right there. And take out the P's, the P's cancel. And you're left with two is equal to E to the RT. And that is the definition of a logarithm. So two is equal E to the RT. And that's the same thing as saying X is equal A to the Y. Well, that yields y is equal to log base a of x that's the definition of a logarithm and i'm going to tell y'all a little bit of what's going to happen okay of course some of y'all aren't going to do this but there's going to be two or three in the class that's not going to learn this they're not going to learn the definition of a logarithm and then they're going to fail the test. And then they're going to say, well, I just can't get logarithms. No, you didn't do what I told you. I told you to learn the definition of logarithm or you're going to fail the test. OK. So I'm just telling you. All right, so that is X. That is A. And that is Y. So RT is equal to log base e of 2 and rt is equal to natural log of 2. And that's probably what they're got, they've got. rt equals natural log of 2 and solve for t divide by r T is equal to natural log of two divided by R. That's how they get that right there. 
Okay, so what they're, they're saying proves. So take this, and instead of S, you say 2P, because that's double its value. Two times the principal. So two times the principal is equal to PERT, and then the P's cancel. And then you get it right here, and then that's the definition of a logarithm. Should you be able to see the definition of a logarithm? Yes. By the time you finish the homework, you should be able to see the definition of a logarithm like this right here. And it's not going to come by osmosis. And it's not going to come by you not paying attention in class. It's going to come by you doing over and over and over and over problems. And suppose 2,500 is invested to 6%. Well, you're going to plug in. Um, how long will it take for it to grow? You're going to plug in and get T, and then take that T and plug it back into the original equation. Or you can graph it at Y is equal to 5,000 and find the intersection. This is not a test question. It's just showing you how you can actually take this and graph it. Natural log of 2 over 0 0.06 and intersect at 5,000. I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about you being able to do logarithms. The change base formula, I've already showed you this. It's the last one. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to write everything over again. So that way, even if you don't watch the videos, which 90% of you don't. Number one, the definition of a logarithm. Y is equal to log base A of X yields A to the Y is equal to X. Two, the pro the uh, product rule. Product rule says if I have the natural log or LOG of N plus the LOG of M, then I can rewrite it as LOG of N times M. The quotient rule. log of n minus the log of m is equal to and then go both ways on this log of n over m the power rule four times log of n can be rewritten as log of n to the fourth power. And you can go both ways. And the change base formula. Log of n to the m power. And n does not equal e or 10. Can be rewritten as log base 10 of m over log base 10 of n or log base e which is the natural log of m over the natural log of n those again this is about the third time i have went over this with you because like i said 80 percent of your test is going to come from these five actually these four this you might have one or two questions on the test but not many because these are pretty simple but 80 percent of your test is going to come through one through four that's why i've written it down at least three times so let's look at the next slide and see what they want we'll get through with this there he is the change base formula. 
and they're going to give you a couple of examples on the next slide. I would write them down because they're probably going to be the number of test questions. So here's the first one. Log of eight. Log base eight of 124. Log base eight of 124. So I can change that to log base 10 of 124 over log base 10 of 8, which that is LOG 124 over LOG of 8. Or I could do log base E of 124 over log base E of 8, which will give me the natural log of 124 over the natural log of 8. Either way, both calculations will give you the answer. Clear LOG of 20, 124 divided by LOG of 8. 2.31807, 2.31807. Natural log of 124 divided by the natural log of eight. Same thing. That's the test question right there. You'll probably have two of them on the test. You'll have one calculator question on the test, which we just did. So you could, that's three questions right there. If you get those three questions wrong, don't tell anybody because they're real simple. Base, log base, okay, how do, you, how do you do this one? Well, this is just the same thing. Log base, LOG of X over the log of three, and there's that. And change it log base C e of X over log base C e of three. That's the natural log of X over the natural log of three. Gives you the same thing. So I'm going to let you write that one down in case they might ask you to graph that one and compare the graphs. They're the same. Okay. Okay, this says in $10,000 compounded annually, how many years will the investor grow? Okay, compounded annually. As we told you before, as I told you in the previous class, I'm gonna write it down. A is equal to P times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT power. Where P is what you put in, R is your rate. Usually it's given in percent, but you have to change it into a decimal. N is the number of times compounded. And I'm going to give you a little hint. Daily 
would be 365. Monthly would be 12. Annually would be one. Semi-annually would be two. And then quarterly would be four. So there's some examples right there of, you know, N. And then T, number of years. And I always put six months equals 0.5 years. You always need to remember you don't put six in, you put 0.5 because T is always in years. Now, sorry, it says if $10,000 is invested, I'm going to go to the next page here. So A is equal to 10,000. Parentheses, one plus point one zero divided by uh, compounded annually divided by one to the one times, and uh, I think they give you okay t, and they give you one more thing. They say how long? How many years? Will it take the investment to grow to 45,950? So 45,950 is equal to 10,000. One plus 0 0.10 to the T power. All right, I want you to solve it. And the first thing I would do is get rid of that 10,000. Go ahead and do that. We already did this today because it was just another problem. Go ahead and solve it. I don't want to hear no belly aching when y'all don't understand how to do the homework. 45,950 divided by 10,000 is equal to 1.10 T. And we're going to take 45,950, which I could move the decimal. But we're just going to do it 45,950 divided by 10,000. And that's going to give you 4.595 equals 1.10 to the T power. Now what? Definition of a logarithm, Hubert. That's right, class. A to the Y is equal to X. Yields Y T is equal to what? Log base A, log of 110. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Got that bass acronym. Uh, y, yeah, Y is T, base of 1.1, of uh, 4.595. Now finish it using the change base formula.
log of 4.595 divided by log of 1.1. Divided by, oh my goodness, I think I might as well just quit. Divided by log of 1.1. Y'all ever tried to work a calculator with a mouse? It's not fun. 16 years. T is equal to 16 years. And yes, that is a test question. To so see how long it takes you to get a retirement. That's why we are a product of our own decisions. Right now, you're in college, you're just out of high school. You don't settle for a job that doesn't give you some kind of retirement. Unless you just want to play, and then if you want to play, then you go get you a job as a cashier somewhere, and you do that for 40 years of your life, and then you get mad at everybody because you don't have any retirement. You are a product of your own decisions. You choose to play after high school. That's what's going to happen. You choose to work and make better decisions and find a job with retirement benefits, then you will be good to go. OK. All right, let's try another one. Or let's see what's next. Let's see if they got 16 years. Yep. All right, here we go. Test questions. Write these two down. 4096 equals 8 to the 2x. 6 times 4 to the 3x minus 2 is equal to 120. The first thing I would do, nothing really, well, you might be able, 4096, I, mean, I think that's divisible by 9, isn't it? 4096 divisible by 8. Sorry, did I say 9? I thought so. And that's divisible by 8. And that's divisible by 8. So it should be, yep, 8 to the 6th power. What's 8 to the 6th power? Nope. 8 to the 4th power. It's one of them. There it is. So I can rewrite this as 8 to the 4th power is equal to 8 to the 2x. Somebody tell me what does that mean? That means I need somebody to say something. That you just simplified it to make it easier to solve. Yeah, and tell me what I, I, what what can I do now? What's the property I showed y'all two or three days ago about the same basis? You can uh, add the exponents. If I have the same basis, I can set the exponents equal to what? Each other. 
So that's four is equal to two X divided by two. X is equal to two. And that's the test question. Half of you are going to stare at it on the test because you're either talking while I'm teaching it or you're not here, you know, during class and you won't watch the videos. This one right here is going to get you. Just going to go ahead and tell you that right now. Divide this by six, divide this by six, and four to the three X minus two is equal to what? Six will go in there 20 times. Now you can't raise, you can't change 40, I meant 20 to four to the fifth or anything like that. So this is definition of a logarithm. A to the Y is equal to X. Yields log base four, log base A of Y, log, log base, base A of X, 20, is equal to Y. And this is just a number, log of 20 over the log of four, equals three X minus two. And I take my handy dandy calculator, log of 20, divided by the log of two, or log of four, sorry. Thank you for catching that. Equals 2.16, 2.16096 is equal to three X minus two. I'm gonna add two, and I'm gonna divide by three. 1.38699. 1 1.38699. Okay. So I'm going to leave that on the board there for a second. Two good test questions. So I'm giving you some. I'm giving you some test questions. So you're going to see. I just can't do math. So x is equal to two. We got that. One point three eight seven. If you notice, they did it a different way. Can you do it different ways? Yes. Exponents and logarithms, you can do many different ways as long as you do it legally. You can't just make up stuff. Let's see if they give us one more test question. There we go. This one says solve it graphically. I don't know. Let's four log of three X equals negative eight. All right, I want you to do what you can to it. It says solve it, put it in exponential form and then graph it. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by four.
and that's going to be log base 3 of x is equal to negative 2. Log base a of y is equal to x gives us a to the y is equal to x. So a is 3. 3 to the y, I think it's negative 2, 8 to the y. 3 to the x is equal to what? To negative 2? Some reason I don't think I did that right. Yeah, I got it back. I got it mixed up. It's three to the negative two is equal to x. That's what I thought. It's three to the negative two. Oh, this is supposed to be y. This is supposed to be x. There we go. I thought I had something wrong. So that's going to be three to the negative two is equal to x. And that's equal to 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 ninth. And X is equal to one ninth. That is a vertical line. The M is equal to uh, the slope is undefined. And that should be what they said. X is equal to one ninth. Yeah. All right. So next. Here's another one. I only care about you converting it. I don't really care about the graphing part. Six plus three natural log of X is equal to 12. All right, do that one. So subtract the six. Three natural log of X is equal to six. Divide by three. Natural log of X is equal to two. Log base E of X is equal to two. There's log base Y of X is equal, I'm sorry, base A of X is equal to Y. Yields A to the Y is equal to X. A is E, E to the two is equal to X. And e to the second power, second e to the second power, E to the second power. All right. Another one. Natural log of X. Plus three. Is equal to the natural log of X plus four. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is distribute that 
natural log. I don't know if they're going to do that, but that's what I'm going to do. So that's natural log of X plus three equals natural log of X plus natural log of four. And uh, natural log of X, they don't look right. This don't look right at all. Let's see if that's what they did, because that's, are they going to take out the natural logs? No, they bring them, and then they're going, okay, you can do that too. And then they're going to distribute. They did the quotient rule. Okay. Because I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to cancel out the natural logs. So let's just, let's, let's not do that. Let me just start over. Natural log of X plus three. Equals natural log of X plus four. And then. I can't remember what we did. What did they do? Yeah, they brought the minus the nat natural log over. OK. And that gives us. Minus the natural log of X minus the natural log of X. So three is equal to the natural log of X plus four over X. And that's going to be three is equal to log base E of X plus four over X. Which gives us log or Y is equal to log base A of X. A to the Y, so that's going to be E to the three. Is equal to X plus four over X. And I don't know if they want us to finish that or not. E to the three is equal to X plus four over X. And multiply. Yeah, they do want you to finish it. Yuck. OK, we'll finish it. So I'm going to write that down on the next page. I don't know if this is a test question. I would stop it right here for a test question. But as you can see, they want you to move on. E to the three is equal to X plus four over X. Multiply both sides by X. And that's going to give us X E to the three is equal to X plus four. And you can bring the X plus four over, and that's going to be equal to zero. So I can do X E to the third minus if I'm going to minus that, minus X plus four is equal to zero. I don't think I don't think that's the easiest way to do it. You could actually take the X up here. Trying to think of an easier way to do this. That's going to be X to E to the third minus X minus four. Yuck. You got to get all the X's on one side so you can get them out. So let's see what happens. X to the negative E to the three minus X minus four. I don't like that because that binds the E to the third. That E to the third would come over here. It's yucky. This one's yucky. E to the three X. They left the four. OK, they left the four over. So they brought the X over and took the four 
They took this four over. That's what they did. They took this four over, and that's x e to the three minus x is equal to four. Factor out an x. That leaves you with e to the three minus one. And you're going to divide both sides by e to the three minus one. So x is equal to four over e to the three minus one. Which that's just a little bit over the top right there. I don't think I would ask you that on the test. We'll leave that up for a couple of seconds. That one's not fun. And these are like puzzles. They're like puzzles for those of you that like puzzles. Um, <clears throat> when you're dealing with these logarithms, they're just like a puzzle. <clears throat> OK, let me see what the next set of slides give us. I don't think I brought that one up. I could have. 5.4, there we go. OK, I'm not going to cover too much in this one. This is the models. I'm not really concerned about this one. I really want to get into, I really want to do the 5.3, so we'll come back to this. Let's go back to 5.3, maybe the assignments. I tell you what, let's go into eText, chapter 5, 5.3, and study plan. That would give us more problems. <clears throat> let's see if I can find some good test questions in 5.3. Uh, I'm not in inequality. I don't deal with inequalities very much. Let's get to the equations. Good gracious, they don't give you any equations, do they? Just give me a minute to find them. This is not your homework. These are just extra problems. If I ever find any. OK, here we go. All right, there's one. Three plus. Three plus the natural log, three plus nine. Natural log of X is equal to 84. All right, take a minute or two and work on that one. What are you going to do first? Sub subtract nine. Subtract what? Nine. You can't subtract three. the nine. That's multiplication, bud. Subtract the three, though, because that's a what? That's a positive right there. 
So I'm going to subtract the three and I get nine natural log X equals what? Now, what can I do with the nine? Divide it from both sides. Divide by nine. Natural log of X is equal to nine. Log base E of X is equal to nine. Y is equal to log base A of X. Yields A to the Y is equal to X. So A is equal E to the ninth is equal to X. And let's see if they want E to the ninth. It says right it is E. E shift up. Ninth. That's a test question. I like to give you test questions like these that are short and to the point. I'm trying to find another one. Hold on. Don't tell me that's the last one. They give you one equation to solve. That sucks. OK, we'll do that one. Log base 5 of x is equal to 2. Log base 5 of x is equal to 2. Log base 5 of x is equal to 2. Well, that one's already in the definition of a logarithm. All you got to do is just bring it out. So y is equal to log base a of x. So that's going to be 5 to the second power is equal to x. That should be 25. I'm going to find some more questions. That That's ridiculous. It should be a whole. This would be a whole homework of questions. I just can't find them. I'll find them. I'll find them. Could be in your assignments. Let me look right there right quick. Five point three. Maybe they'll have some in there. It might have been in the beginning of the homework. I don't know. Yeah, there's one you can solve. Yeah, they've got some in there. I just went to the study plan. They had too many. Change base. Change base. There's yeah, there's solve. OK, there's some solving ones. All right, let's try that one. It's got a negative, so that will discourage some of you. So that's going to be 5 to the negative x plus 4 is equal to 16. A to the y is equal to x yields. Y is equal to log base A of X. Well, Y is equal to negative X plus four equals log base A, log base five of 16, negative X plus four is equal to log of 16 over the log of five. and subtract four 
and take that whole thing and divide by negative one. So X is equal to the log of 16 divided by the log of five minus four all over negative one. That's a good test question. So like I said, if you want to spend time on two sections of test questions, that would be 5.2 and 5.3. 5.2 and 5.3. Now I'm going to go call the roll because some of y'all got more important things to do than to listen to me, so.